company called Whitehawk, and uh, my company specializes in open data consulting all over the world. Uh, at the beginning of the year, end of last year, I started doing FOI requests to every single local authority and asking them, please provide me with a complete list of all of the, the commercial properties as well as the vacancies. So let me know exactly which ones are empty and which ones are not. Um, and local authorities, quite a lot, um, a significant number, maybe about 15 to 20 percent, turned around and said, we will refuse, we refuse to release data because it causes crime if anybody knows the properties are empty. And I was like, well, how? How can an empty property cause crime? So um, I started a second parallel FOI series of requests, which is to the local police, to ask, tell me about crime, empty commercial properties. And that parallel resulted in police authorities do not collect such uh, information. Um, uh, the Thames Valley here in, in Oxford, they do. Um, and essentially it's, it's, it's none, um, one or two incidents in empty properties a year. And when you compare that to the number of crimes reported in um, uh, actively traded business properties, we're talking, you know, 30, 40,000 crimes in, in particular local authorities relative to one to zero uh, crimes in, in empty properties. So we went to the uh, Information Commissioner's office and I submitted something like 60 appeals um, to them. And we're currently going through a process with the Information Commissioner's office. They're likely to issue a finding in the next month or so, which basically turns around and says, yeah, you have to prove that there is a legitimate um, connection between publication and not. So we're likely to see something like that coming through in, in the next month or two. And then I will restart my process. I will go back to all the local authorities who refused and I will say, right, we now have a finding. So either present the evidence that tells me that you're unable to release because of crime. And I know your local police authority do not collect this because we've polled every single police authority in the UK to ask whether or not um, they collect this data. And we know only two do. Um, so you're going to have to give us legitimate reasons or publish. Uh, I think every single person who has an interest in data um, and has a particular, you know, whatever it might be, an itch to scratch or a commercial interest, um, should be pursuing the FI process. If, if the data are in government hands, um, we need to find a way to get it out. I, I believe that if we had the FI process um, before the address database was sold off uh, and we'd gotten that into public hands, um, that would have been, you know, because instead now we're we're back in the situation where the government has to spend money um, to recreate this database that they had all along. Uh, so definitely use the FI process and uh, you know, you've just got to recognize that in some cases, particularly if that data are politically sensitive, you're going to go through a slog, but you just got to be persistent and you've just got to be very clear about what it is you want. I'd love to get to the point where I don't have to do it through FI requests and the, uh, and the local authorities just go, cool, we see the value of this. And instead of waiting for you to come and ask me, we just publish it because we know we're going to get the request. Um, and, you know, maybe a few will, but in the short term, 